Hello and welcome to this Microsoft SQL Server video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show us how to write advanced inner join query. So let's dive in. By the way, if you have not joined this channel, kindly consider doing that by clicking on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get notifications when a new video is released. So let's see how to go about the inner join. By the way, the inner join simply allows us to select records that have matching values in two or more tables. So let's make sense of this definition using the Azure Data Studio that is connected to our Microsoft SQL Management Studio. All right, based on this query we can see on the screen, we have two tables and we have executed the code now based on the output we have the first table that's called sales.vstore with contact and the second table is called sales.vstore with demographics and we can see in the first table we have business entity id name email address and phone number columns now, in the second table, we have number employees, business entity, ID, name, bank name, and specialty columns. Now, what we intend to do based on what you can see is that the business entity ID is present in both tables. Okay. The same thing with the name column is present in both tables. However, the email address, phone number are not present in the second table. Conversely, number employees, bank name and specialty are not present in the first table. So what we're going to do is to, we're going to use the inner join to join the columns that are associated with the two tables. So let's do that. Now we have written the code and we have all the columns from the first table and the columns from the second table now what we what i'm going to do is i need to fetch all the columns that we want to call so we have one two three four and i'm going to come to the second table and i'm going to copy this number employees column put in a comma here and control v to paste put in a comma now i need the bank name from the second table and i paste here comma and the specialty from the second table and i'm going to paste here so after i have done that what i'm going to do next is to delete this block of select all through to the from so delete and let's me move this to the next line and i click on enter so after i have done that what i'm going to do is to use the inner join keyword so inner join so what i'm going to do is i want to join the columns that are present in both tables so to do that further i'm going to use the on keyword and i'm going to copy this business entity id control c control v and i can use any of the math operators such as the equal to greater than or equals to less than or equals to not equals to okay well for this we're going to use the equal to math operator so equal to then i paste the same business entity id and then we're going to use the and keyword and for the second column that are both present in the two tables which are name i'm going to check that against the same name column now when i over my mouse around the business entity and the name we can see from the azure data studio intelligence that we have ambiguous column name now this is because the microsoft sql server engine doesn't understand which of the columns that is coming from the tables so in order to tell the engine to understand what you are trying to do 
we need to assign what is called alias to the specific the two tables and then we also assign the alias to the columns that is coming from each of the tables so to do that i'm going to just type in as now since the table name is vstore with contact i'm going to use c as the alias for this first table and for the second table the name is vstore with demographics and i'm going to use d to denote demographics so c is for contact and d is for demographics now let's go ahead and assign this alias to the columns coming from each of these two tables so for the business entity which is present in both table i'm going to just type in c then put in a period and for the second column which is present in both tables i'm going to type in c again put in a period now for the email address that is present in the vstore with contact table alone i'm going to assign the c alias and the period and for the phone number c with the period now the number employees that is coming from the second table that is the demographics i'm going to assign the d alias okay and the period and for the same thing with bank name d with the period and for the specialty i'm going to use d with period or dot whichever one you want to call it is fine now after i've done that i need to now come to where we have the business entity equals to business entity now as you have said business entity is present in business entity id is present in both tables so for the first one i'm going to make this to come from the vstor with contacts therefore i'm going to type in c with period and then for the second one i'm going to type in d with period so this first one is coming from the first table business entity id equals to the business entity id that's coming from the demographics table all right and for this name i'm going to call this one c coming from the contact table and for the second one i'm going to assign d coming from the demographics table all things being equal we can see that all the underlined reds has been faced out which means our query is correct is accurate no error or potential error so we can go ahead and run or execute the inner join query so let's do that and see the final output so when i click on run wow we can see the result we have all the seven columns business entity id name email address phone number number employees bank name and specialty and we can see that we have a total of 753 rows of data set so as i said earlier on you can use even other math operators such as greater than or equals to and you can even do the same thing here greater than or equals to and then when you run the query now look at this section we have 753 rows when i run the query we can see that it will increase to whoops let's see it's going all right so we have one twenty nine thousand six eighty nine rows of date sets okay so this is essentially how we can write the inner join in microsoft sql server if you enjoyed this video you can like comment share and consider subscribing to this channel thank you and bye for now cheers